Hello guys, ready to model? Today I will show you how to model this cute Halloween cake topper. I'm Barbara from Sweet Jenny's and if you want to know more about me just go on my Facebook page Sweet Jenny's or Instagram Barbara Sweet Jenny's. So for starting the project you need um, some brushes, different sizes for dusting and for painting the eyes. Then I use a water brush, a exacto knife, silicone brush, hard pointed tool that you can use any kind of tool, very pointed and hard, different sizes of ball tool, the dressing tool, very important, and a skewer. And if you want, you can have also a plastic knife. For uh, the paste, I'm using Saracino modeling paste that is very good because uh, you can model without any cracks and you can keep your model for, uh, for a while. I add the measurements at the end of the tutorial. So now we can start. So I, I start and I have already covered the cake with white fondant and uh, I have put some uh, chocolate biscuit broken to make in the, the ground effect and I have inserted a skewer in the center. Uh, remember to insert the skewer straight. So I start making a ball with white modeling paste and then I model a cylinder like this and with the rolling pin I just uh, roll out a bit, not too much, I need some thickness. Now I take the, the shape of a rectangle and I round a bit the upper part in this way. So I have a nice shape rounded and with a knife I cut at the bottom. Easy. We have the first object for uh, our totem and uh, what I do now is to make a guide with the skewer first and then insert the object into the skewer. And what I do is rotating very gently while I'm inserting into the tombstone like this. Now I model the paste, the pink paste for the body of the cute little girl and I model a ball first and then kind of cone shape like this. Then I will add some decoration on the body so I don't uh, care about the shape too much. But the first thing I do is to insert the skewer again to make the guide and then as before I insert into the skewer into the cake. So again as before rotating very slowly I in push inside until it comes out like this and I position on the cake the body. Now I take away the cake and I make the legs. So I take light blue paste and I divide into two small cylinders and with a knife I cut at the same length like this. Now I never use the, the glue because I I just use some water so I add some water inside this brush and what I do is uh, adding a bit and then position the two legs like this. Yeah. 
Now we make the shoes and I have already made one. Now I'll show you how to make the other one. What to do is uh, add in a square that we will cut later. Now I have just cut the square and uh, I wait until the base is a bit dry to cut the center. So what I do is taking the black paste making a bowl, then taking the point and make it very pointed like this. Then I curl the point like this. I flat Now we make the arms and I take the skin color paste and I divide into two small pieces and I start rolling a cylinder. Again, it would be uh, more than, we are using more paste than we need, but we will cut at the end. So. I start impressing the wrist first. And then I flat the end part to make like a palette, like this. And now I take the exacto knife and I cut the thumb first. And now I cut the fingers, just marking the, the first and the third, but cutting the last one. And now I take a, a skewer or everything else like a brush, and then I curl the fingers uh, to make the hand like holding something so I just bend a bit the fingers like this and now I just use my silicone brush to smooth everything so now I have done 
one arm and I use this as reference to do the other one the same thickness and the same size. So I made the two arms same size and before positioning them on the body I make the pumpkin. She's holding a pumpkin box. So what I do is uh, kneading a bit the orange paste and make a ball. Then I push a bit and with the ball tool, I make a hollow like this in the center. Now I take the Dresden tool and I make some marks all around. Randomly, like this. Again, ball tool, I take a smaller one, okay, like this. Now, I want to position on the cake, but for making this, I want to cut a bit the back to make it flatten, like this, just a bit, not too much. And now I insert a small toothpick, I cut in half and I insert a bit like this. With the other half I take the cake and uh, I check more or less where I want the pumpkin so it's fine here so I what I do is with the same toothpick I make a, a hole and then I insert the toothpick and then I insert again the pumpkin like this. N now I just uh, use a very very small amount of black paste for making the holder. So what I do is uh, roll in a very small cylinder on the pumpkin like this. At the end if you want, you can add some decoration on the pumping, some Halloween decorations on the pumping. Now I finally take my arms and I check the length. We want her uh, holding the pumping, so I just bend a bit. Now they are dry enough to be bended a bit. But what I do first is to check the length so i will cut a bit one and at the same time i use the arm um, as reference for the second one so we have exactly the same length now i add again some water on the body And very gently, I add the two arms, sticking on the body. I first position them and then I make them holding the pumpkin. Okay. 
אוקיי. לגיס. אוקיי. Now we make some decorations on the body as a kind of the uh, kind of dress and then we make the face. Okay, now I take the skin color and I start making a ball. For making the face. So we start with the ball and with the little finger I just impress in the middle like this just a bit for making the cavity for the eyes. And uh, I use my two little fingers for just impressing the nose. I don't want to make the nose because she's very uh, basic. So I, I just point, just make a point like this. I just smooth with the brush a bit. That's it. Now I take again the brush and I mark two points and with the ball tool I just want to make a hole for the mouth that I'm going to define well with the smaller ball tool so just making a mouth like this And just define well. And now I take some pink paste. Just a bit, you don't need too much, but we want to insert some pink into the mouth. I need a bit. And then you take the amount you need. You check if it's too much, then you remove and uh, insert again you when you insert you take again the brush and you press a bit Okay, now 
if it's too soft just leave it a bit so now i'm doing this for uh, shaping exactly the chin like this And then again with the brush I flat a bit this part because I want big eyes and I don't want a realistic face, a human realistic face. I just want a doll, a cute one. With the Dresden tool I just define well just a bit near the nose. I don't want to make the nose. But later, I will dust, so you can see a bit the point of the nose. The paste is sticky because here in Italy it's warm and it's getting hot in the afternoon. So if it's sticky, just uh, use a bit of cornstarch on your hands or wash your hands is better and then you start again and you can leave the face on the mat for a few minutes so you will see the difference will be much easier than okay now I take some white, very, very, very small amount, because I just want to make the two teeth. teeth. So what I do is uh, taking a very tiny amount and uh, I want to make the end like this, pointed. Then I take the exacto knife, I cut and I position. Then I see if it's too long, I cut again, but you need to leave on the mat a few minutes so it won't be sticky and you can manage to find the exact sides. So I want maybe with some water it will be easier to position the teeth. I want one here and I use my brush. So I made the other one and I position as before. I can use some dust. Remember, when you use the dust on the especially on the faces, try to, uh, I, I add something dust. As you see, I am cleaning the brush before using on the face because I don't want too much uh, dust. I don't want too, too much color. So now I try to smooth before dusting and very gently. As you see, I dust like this, just a bit. At the end, when you finish, you can add more if you like it. And then I now I wait until it dries a bit and then I will add some 
darker color in the mouth so you can see well the teeth. Now I use the ball tool and I make two eyes, two cavities. I want the same distance. like this. Now I use some white and I fill the cavity you check the amount you need if it's too much just remove it uh, as not to be too rounded not too flat so just check what you are doing Yes, like this. Okay. Now I take some colors for painting the eyes. So I take some blue gel color first and I start making a big iris. So something like uh, A shape like this. And I do the same in the other eye. Now I clean a bit the brush and I feel Now I have cut two small um, pupils with the black paste and I position them in the eye. And again with the black. I make kind of eyeliner I use some water to help sticking around my eye I cut now I add some highlights in the eyes I have cut uh, uh, two small circles with white paste and I position them on the in the same position in both sides.
like this. Again, with the black paste, I make two small cylinders again and I put them under the eye. And I do the same in the other part. Now I have uh, <clears throat> rolled two small cylinders and I position them as eyebrows. So what I do is taking them and with some water you can you decide the shape you prefer. Now I just position them and then I want a cute girl, so I will curl in a nice way. Now, we position the head on the body and we make the hair. Now, I take a skewer and I insert the skewer into the face very gently, as I did before for uh, the body and I insert until it comes out like this. I have removed a bit the back, the paste in excess in the back. Now I have the guide so I can insert the face into the body. And now I'm ready for making the hair. Now we make the hair and for making the hair, we take some black paste and I take a very small amount. And what I do is roll in a cone like this. Then I use the dressing tool and I just impress a bit the air effect and I curl like this and I position on the head. And uh, I uh, cover the entire head in the same way. So remember, cut a small piece roll a cone, curl a bit, and then position all around the face. If it's not sticking, just use some water and uh, cover the entire face, also in the back. Uh, I have used a mold for uh, making a bow, but you can do it as you prefer. And uh, I position the bow under the neck like this. Now I take some pink paste and uh, I roll out, not too thin, and I cut a circle like this because we are making the hat. Now I take the leftover and I model a cone shape. And I thin the point so now I 
position first the bottom of the hat and I don't want to center in the cake but I prefer making something on the side so I insert in this way and now I insert into the skewer like this leaving a bit uh, more skewer for the ghost so for the little ghost that I'm adding at the top I roll out a bit of black paste and I make a strip that I'm going to uh, positioning position to around the head all around like this and again I made a bow with the mold and I add it on the side like this okay now she's done we can add some uh, uh, details later uh, now we make the ghost and we take some white paste. Now we take, uh, we leave this part, uh, the most part of the white I'm using for uh, the body of the ghost. So what we do is uh, making a bowl, a bowl first and then making a kind of cylinder and then a cone shape and we thin well the uh, this is the cone shape we, we need and what we do is uh, giving a bit of movement so like this yes like this now i take again the skewer for making uh, the guide first and again as before i insert rotating a bit like this Now I take the leftover of the paste and I just uh, leave a bit for the two hands. And uh, what I do now is uh, making again a small bowl that has to be a uh, egg shape, like an egg shape. So I want this shape. And now I take the scissors and I just make the two a kind of air something like a something like this then 
Then I use again a small part, a very small piece of white and I make the nose. And with the ball tool I make two holes for the eyes like this. Um, with the dressing tool I impress the kind of air effect on the air like this. And then I take a small piece of black paste and I insert into the eye cavity. Now I take some white gel color and I make the two dots on the eyes. At this point I take again my pink brush with pink dust and uh, just a bit I dust the cheeks. Now I take a um, half toothpick and uh, I insert into the body. Last thing, with the leftover of the paste, I make two hands and I make a candy. So for making the two hands, I just roll a sausage and I cut in half. And then I flat the part and I just start cut the thumb. Very easy. And we do the same for the other end and I position them on the body. Now I take some orange paste some light blue paste and I roll very small cylinders same thickness and what I do now is uh, joining them and make and curl themselves like this Then I cut the end and I take a toothpick and I insert to make it like a lollipop.
like this. And we have finished. The project is done. I hope you have enjoyed my tutorial. I have added some few details like a uh, school, uh, dust on the tombstone. You can personalize as much as you want. Thank you for following me and I hope to see you soon.